Oh, yeah! Oh, that was awful. Welcome to Universe Mode. This is ECW. Starting things off with Matt Hardy in what is a pretty special match. The following contest is a slap a tornado on a pole match where you have to grab a tornado and put it on a pole. Very simple. Anyway, no, uh, seriously, what's going to happen here tonight is we are starting things off with a number one contender match for the ECW Television Championship. However, the number one contender will not be taking on uh, Wade Barrett at Unforgiven, rather on the ECW after it. So what's going to happen is Matt Hardy is going to go one-on-one -on -one with the man who beat um, Wade Barrett last week. That man being, of course, Titus O'Neil. If Titus wins, then he gets the title match against Wade Barrett that he kind of deserves. If Hardy wins, then we get Hardy Barrett for the Television Championship next week. Which will be a very interesting match either way. Both men certainly deserve this match. You could say Titus a bit more than Hardy. And approaching the ring from Live Oak, Florida, weighing 270 pounds, Titus O'Neill. I mean, Hardy's had uh, two weeks of phenomenal matches against Adam Cole and that Phil Four Way last week. But um, Titus O'Neil did defeat Wade Barrett last week very in a very fair manner. There was no BS involved. He pinned him 1-2-3 in the middle of the ring. Titus O'Neil, in my eyes, should, in a way, already be called an unboard contender. But you don't just get handed everything in this universe. You do have to fight for it. And Titus O'Neil is going to fight for it tonight by taking on Matt Hardy one-on-one. -on -one. If Hardy does win, though, it must be gutting for Titus O'Neil to, you know, to just come that close and then just... For it to all go wrong and to be defeated by Matt Hardy and lose your number one contendership. Anyway, let's go through the match card to begin with. Uh, after this, we have a champion versus champion match. Brodus Clay is going to go one on one with the man who will be with the uh, man who one of these two men will meet next week. That being Wade Barrett. Then we have a tag team contest to determine the number one contenders for the ECW Tag Team Championships. It is the Revolution taking on two men who have been kind of. Stamping their authority on ECW in a bloody manner. That being the Kingdom. Yet again, the Kingdom could have another shot at the ECW Tag Team Championships. And if they do, you got to think it's got to be coming up to a final opportunity for the Kingdom for those Tag Team titles. But to do that, of course, they got to get through the revolution of Storm and McIntyre, who since arriving on ECW have proved to be a very, very good tag team and have the chance to go into Unforgiven to take on the One Percenters. And then we have the number one contender in action for the ECW Championship. Cesaro goes one-on-one -on -one with Ultimo Dragon. Cesaro has put it bluntly that Ultimo Dragon is not a threat. More so a warning message to Seth Rollins. Speaking of Seth Rollins, he will be in our main event going one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker. In what will be one of the most, in my eyes, one of the biggest matches of Rollins' is, uh title reign. I know it's not a title match, but still, it is The Undertaker we are talking about. And this man, well, he is he is not going to take Rollins lightly. Anyway, right now, Tyus O'Neill has control, a little bit of control over Matt Hardy anyway. Look at this. Picking him up out of the turnbuckle just to throw him right on his back. Tyus O'Neill, of course, a former Intercontinental Champion. Matt Hardy, the longest reigning United States Champion in this universe. Still to this day, his reign ended over a year ago at this point and it's still the longest reigning one and of course he is the second longest reigning ECW, not ECW, WWE champion at the same time, sling the blade by Hardy he is certainly taking it right now to Titus O'Neil, Titus though is able to respond back he's doing a good job, kicked away though by Hardy who hits a running clothesline taking down Titus Wade Barrett's going to be in the back, he's going to be looking at, um, at this one closely, but he's also got to plan out his match against Brodus Clay, because Brodus Clay is one tough guy to take on, it seems as if Titus O'Neil is just constantly falling into sling blades right now, and there's another one, Titus now fighting back, uh, I can't remember what I was called, scoop slam there, and he hits it again onto Matt Hardy, kick to the back, And again, another scoop slam. Titus O'Neil feels as if he's got this one in the bag to become number one contender. No, Hardy, I don't want. Strike in the arm. Oh, Hardy with a punch back. Runs out in clothesline. Another clothesline. Off the ropes. He goes dropkick across the face of Titus O'Neil. Oh, reversal, though. Titus now, Bear hug stitched in. 
Here we go. Bear hug locked in right now. But my Hardy not tapping out DDT. My Hardy side, uh, not sorry, benching on the arm, dragging Titus to the ropes now. I think we know what he's looking for. Titus having none of it. Try to send him over the ropes. Oh, Hardy duck, uh, pulls the rope down and down to the outside. They go. Sling blade on the outside. Hardy. Hardy on the outside. No, twist of fate was reversed. Titus O'Neil reverses the twist of fate. And now with... Oh, Titus has got him. Signature back quick and no, reversed. Wow, these two men going back and forth with one another on the reversal scale, it seems. Titus now dazed on the outside. Count reaches six. Matt Hardy is just sort of leaving Titus. There he goes back in now. Catches that. Titus has him. Clash of the Titus. Titus O'Neil with a real chance to become number one contender here. Will he go one on one with Wade Barrett next week for the ECW Television Championship? No, Matt Hardy kicks out of two. The match stays alive. It's not over yet. Hardy's chances still alive here. No, he sweeps the leg away though. Titus O'Neil has certainly put up a tremendous fight right now. I can't believe everything that's transpired this Oh, never mind. Okay. Side headlock by Titus. Locking into submission now. Trying to wrench back Hardy's neck. Chin lock sitched in. Uh, no, that's not going to be enough. Side headlock. Hardy. Hardy with a full, with a front face lock sitched in. Almost like Jacob's end time. Is this enough for Titus? Titus has tapped. Titus is tapping. Titus taps out. There you go. Titus O'Neil taps out. Matt Hardy is going on to next week. Here we go. Titus O'Neil, number such sorry. Titus O'Neil falls short right to the end, and Titus O'Neil, fucking hell, I keep on pronouncing Titus's name. And Matt Hardy is the number one contender for the ECW Television Championship. I'll just add to that out now. Matt Hardy next week will go one on one with Wade Barrett. What should be one of the best matches of the week, in my opinion, for that Television Championship. But right now, Wade Barrett has a sight set on someone else. That man, of course, being. Uh, uh, Brodus Clay. It's going to be a huge match for Wade Barrett. It's up next. Uh, I don't know if Wade Barrett can pull through it after his loss to Tyson O'Neill last week. I will be interested to see if Barrett can bounce back and actually get some momentum heading into next week against Matt Hardy. Brodus Clay coming down to the ring. Brodus, who did he... Um... Oh, well, I remember the 1%. Oh, they defeated the Ascension last week, that was it. Wade Barrett coming down to the ring last week. He called his loss. Titus O'Neil, a major derailment of the Barrett Barrage. He says he's not going to stop him, though. He's going to fight on. And he is going to continue bringing rejoice into ECW. Bit by bit, step by step, move by move, Barrett is working his way up. He realizes that he's got a long way to go until he gets what he wants. That man being Cesaro back in one-on-one -on -one action. He wants that match with him. He wants to take him on. But Barrett realizes that right now he's got a duty to serve to ECW as an ECW television championship and he will not get emo let emotions get in the way. He will fight on, he will fight through his loss to Tyson Neal and he will bounce back and get a win over Brodus Clay tonight. And if memory serves me correct, there's only one person I think who has defeated Brodus Clay. I think, there's a, I think it's only one and that man was of course Seth Rollins. A Oh, about two months back now. So but uh, let's see if he can do that. <clears throat> Go 
uh, Barrett right now. Belly to belly. In a shot to the solar plexus. Sidewalk the slam there by Barry, the certainly delivering the arena. to uh, Bodice Clay right now. Bodice though fighting back, reversal. Punches to the face there by Barrett. He is just wailing away on Brodus. Not giving him an inch. Oh, Brodus reverses. Off the rubs goes Barrett. Oh, DDT reversal. Nicely done there. Reversal. Oh, shoulder tackle in the corner there. And again by Brodus. Trying to restrict the air. The Barrett can breathe in. Trying to crush his ribs. Oh, big boot caught. Brodus throws him away. Irish whip now into the corner again, goes Brodus, and Barrett reels him out in a clothesline there. Right across the face. Front face lock, nope, reversal forearm by Brodus, kick to the gut as well. Wrenching on the arm, Barrett reverses it. Down goes Brodus again. More strikes to the face there. Catches Brodus, Irish whip, off the ropes he goes, comes back to Barrett, and Brodus with a DDT, with a uh, rather stylistic DDT reversal of his own. Side headlock, Barrett forcing his way out of it there. And elbow to the back. It's a bit back and forth between these two guys right now. Brodus certainly giving Barrett a run for his money, catches that, punches him right down to the mat. You gotta think EC3 is hoping that a win for Brodus Clay is on the cards because if it does, if it goes all sorts of, well, if it goes wrong, what could that spell for them this Sunday when they take on either the Revolution or the Kingdom? We of course find out who they're taking on next up after this match. It hasn't been looking as dominant as Brodus Clay matches always do. EC3 not a ringside to help him. I don't know if that's uh, affecting Brodus Clay. Oh, responds back though with a huge spine buster. Massive spine buster there. Wrenching on the arm now. Punches him down again. Barrett giving him no room to breathe. Punches. More punches to the face. Oh, oh punch down again. I have no clue what Michael Cole's blabbing on about. Something about Big Brodus. In the corner goes Brodus again. Big boot. Nope. Caught Brodus Clay. Throwing him away there. Barrett picked up, he's looking staggered, confused, sweeping the leg there and keeping a choke locked in. Barrett though responding back right away, pushing him away, Irish whip, and nope, caught again. Of course, Wade Barrett might have in the back, thought of his, uh, Wade Barrett might have in the back of his mind a thought about what would happen if the 1%ers could beat Europe's finest reign, of course, Europe's finest held those ECW Tag Team Championships for I think 174 days. The longest uh, ECW Tag Team title reign we've had. The 1%ers are getting very close to it. They're getting much closer. I think they're on 131 days round about now. I want to say, but Wade Barrett is looking to end this match. Ball hammer cracked across the skull. I think that's it. Good night, Brodus. One, two. Wait, no. Wade Barrett has not got it done yet. The Ball hammer, not enough to end the match. As I was saying, you know, chance of ending the reign. Of oh, I have no clue what I was going on about there. Brodus though has Barrett. Explode a suplex. Barrett could be in trouble. In here, one, no, bad taking, just responding right back at a one. Irish whip, brings him back. Sidewalk slam. Oh, shoulder tackle down. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. Reversal. More punches there by uh, um, 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 Fingy Redingy. 
Wait, Barrett. I got distracted by something. Oh, Barrett's got him. Oh, we saw this last week against Titus O'Neil. He's going to break it out here again. This very aggressive sight of Barrett. Knees to the skull. And then whenever he... When, ew. When that happens, it gets weird. And then, oh, God, a running big boot. Broads collapses to the outside. Barrett has this win almost in the bag right now. Bro, just getting back in the ring. Barrett allowing him to get back in the ring. Oh, that dazed him. And that might end him. A second ball hammer. It's done it. It has done it. Wade Barrett is the winner. And that is not going to be good for one EC3. He has got to have a bad, bad thoughts going through his mind. What can happen this Sunday? A loss for Brodus Clay is huge. That doesn't, well, you know, that doesn't usually happen. It has happened tonight. Wade Barrett, victorious. Over um, Brodus Clay there, that, oh god, that cannot be good. For the 1%ers chances this coming Sunday, we will of course see who the 1%ers are going to take on though. Coming up next, it's either going to be the Revolution or the Kingdom, and I'm finally not looking at my phone, so I can actually talk. The Revolution, since arriving, have defeated the Ascension and the Real Americans. James Storm, of course, extracting revenge on Jack Swagger for leaving him. Only just realized both of initials are JS. You'd forget I've been doing this universe for 34 months now. Or 35? 35 months. Shit, it's almost been two years. <laughs> it's not been 34 months. Apparently, that's, that's 18 months in a year. I'm an idiot. 23 months. I passed math. I'm an idiot. Anyway, the Kingdom, the Revolution, two of the hardest teams on ECW. I don't mean that in the looks compartment, I mean in the ability compartment. And one of these teams are going to take on... And their opponents first. One percenters. From Florida, this Sunday. Adam Cole. Adam Cole might still be feeling the effects of last week's match. That brutal fatal four-way. At least two things Adam Cole can take out of that. One... He eliminated Matt Hardy. He got revenge on him. His bridge in German suplex was enough to end it. And two, his performance was so good that the Kingdom have been enabled to have a shot at the ECW Tag Team Championships. A title that they have been chasing for so long and they just haven't had the opportunity to. This could be the Kingdom's night, but I do not want to doubt the ability of the Revolution for a second because these two men in separate tag teams were phenomenal and, on, and as a tag team combined, they have been very very difficult to defeat. I think we're in for a great match here tonight, and whoever wins are in for a great match against the 1%ers this coming Sunday, especially with that loss Brothers Clay just suffered. I don't know what will happen. Of course, we got Adam Cole, who's had a bloody affair with uh, Matt Hardy over the last two weeks. And then we got this man, who last week sent him just almost victimized Jimmy Jacobs, sending a message not only to Jacobs for, as a sort of revenge returning when he wanted to cash in on Rollins but for any champion he was warning them Bennett still has until next until June that is what nine months away I want to say that's you know he has nine months left on that money in the bank contract before he can cash in that is a huge amount of time remaining and he can cash in on anyone Remember, these contracts aren't brand locked as we saw with Brock Lesnar with SummerSlam. Any brand, any champion Michael Bennett sees fit, he can cash in on. And it's not like, you know, Bennett has to wait in line for other people to cash in Money in the Banks. He's the only one left for the contract. Those things that happened in episode 200, they're gone. They've all been used. Dean Ambrose's Money in the Bank contract and Brock Lesnar's Money in the Bank contract used within, th used within five days of one another. 
Michael Bennett is the only one with the money in the bank contract. And Michael Bennett has it all to win and lose with that contract. But right now, we need to get away from Michael Bennett and being Mr. Money in the Bank. We have this tag team match looked forward to. Adam Cole started things off against Drew McIntyre. Kick to the gut there. Chops. Caught. Big boot. Nope. Side headlock now by Cole. I think we're in for a very technical wrestling match with a bit of brawling between these two. The brawling especially going to come from James Storm's side. We know what he's like. Off the ropes comes Adam Cole into a scoop slam. He's enjoying this. And Drew is certainly parading around right now. Kick to the gut by Michael Bennett as he gets tagged in. Oh my god, perfect reversal for Drew McIntyre punching down Michael Bennett. Oh, it rolls out of the way. McIntyre has him. Irish whips him into the turnbuckle. Storm is not in the ring yet. Michael Bennett reverses his way out. Irish whip into the turnbuckle again. Reversed again. Arm drag. It was a spear takedown there by James Storm. Amazing gliding abilities to go for so long. Stomps to the leg, apparently, of Bennett. Oh, backdrop though by Bennett as he gets back up, reversing. And he's going to tag in Adam Cole here. Storm getting up. Cole back in the ring. Inziguri does not hit. Dropkick does though. The flippy do there by Cole. Flippy do again by Cole. Catches and oh, kick to the side of the head. Knee to the back as well by Storm. He is. Certainly just stopped Cole right in his tracks, but only temporarily. Tilt a World DDT by Adam Cole. They're beautifully executed as he makes the tag back into Michael Bennett. Now the kingdom working in fluidity. They're working well. They could be on their way to another opportunity of those ECW Tag Team Championships. Bennett throwing Storm around the ring by his hair there, I think it was. Going around like some sort of ragdoll. Whenever the dominating competitor takes his time, it Bennett picks him up. Storm reverses. Kick to the know. gut there. And he's grabbing him. He's putting him in the corner. Drew McIntyre is uh, a bit off his face. I think he's been saving water and drinking beer as well. Storm pushes him away. Front face lock. And now drags him over to, uh, to McIntyre. Strikes to the gut of Bennett. Good work there by the Revolution. Oh! Huge power move there. A huge belly to belly suplex by McIntyre. And look at this. I can't remember what that's called. It's an inverted STO, though, that's for sure. Flatliner, maybe. Something like that. I don't know. McIntyre, though. He's looking for it. He's got Bennett. He's going for it. Future Shock DDT. That could be the Revolution's ticket to Unforgiven. Hook the leg, there's the pin, there's two, Adam Cole, last minute, saving the saving the kingdom's chances, wow that was so close, reversal by uh, McIntyre, Bennett sends him over the ropes, okay McIntyre dropping off, we're now going to the outside apparently, and now Bennett is uh, cleaning windows it seems. Oh, maybe he can. Maybe, there you go. He's back in the ring now. Storm with a kick to the gut. Amazing camera angle there of Adam Cole's ass. Snap suplex. Anyway, uh, James Storm picking up. Oh no, mind. It looked like he might have been looking for someone else. McIntyre grabbing him and just disfiguring him now with a slap to the face. Very, very classy there by the Revolution. Single knee face buster. That has busted Bennett wide open and may have just busted the door down. To, vet, to Unforgiven, last call, super kick. Is it? Is this it? Is it? No. They're off their faces so much on alcohol that they forgot that you need to win. But uh oh, Bennett, Bennett, Bennett has Storm. Photo finish. The blood gushes down Bennett's face, but he could be looking at another shot for the kingdom. He's out of the ropes, unlike what James Storm was able to manage. And it's oh, McIntyre keeping it alive there for the, for the, oh, I keep on getting there because they're both called the, I keep on getting them confused. Storm drops down, tag made into Bennett. Look at the blood dripping off his face. Down goes Bennett, down goes Cole. What is he going to do here? Kick to the gut, McIntyre's got him. 
Future Shock. Future Shock DDT. This could be it. Storm's in the ring. He's in a drunken stupor. Pin. The Revolution have done it. The Revolution win. McIntyre and Storm. This Sunday will meet the one percenters for the ECW Tag Team Championships. And it seems as if Storm has actually sobered up. There we go, they've done it. Wow, what a what a match. That was something alright. The Revolution are the winners and they will meet the one percenters this Sunday in what I think could be one of the best tag team matches in this universe for some time. Great match there. Phenomenal job. Wow. There we go. That's been settled. James Storm and Drew McIntyre will meet the one percenters this Sunday. But right now, move on to singles competition. Ultimo Dragons going on with Cesaro. Making his way to the ring from Osaka, Japan, the ultimate dragon. Here we go. Ultimo Dragon making his way to the ring. Now making his way on top of the ring. Of course, it's the first time we've seen Dragon since uh, SummerSlam. It's been a while since we saw him. Of course, he's lost to Cody Rhodes. Uh, stopped him in his tracks. And then, of course, he was removed from the next big things because he was just Plan B. And now he's on ECW. And this is his first match here. Cesaro, this is going to be uh, this is going to be a big trouble. Ultimate Dragon, Cesaro last week won that fatal four-way involving um, <coughs> involving himself, uh, Adam Cole, Matt Hardy, and the Undertaker, eliminating the Undertaker last. We all thought he was going to Swiss death him. He came. We all thought that was going to happen. It came close. Didn't happen, thankfully. And, well, The Undertaker is still walking now, and he will get set for his match against Seth Rollins later on. But right now, Cesaro has a message to send to Seth Rollins, as he put it. A message for this Sunday, and a warning for the end of his title reign, and for the Cesaro era, for the Swiss Superman era to reign in. Cesaro, of course, if he wins this Sunday, will become a Triple Crown Champion. I can't remember how many Triple Crown Champions there are in this universe. Team DZ, Randy Orton, Scott Steiner. He'll become the fifth one. There you go. And uh, with that being said, he gets set now to go one-on-one -on -one with Ultimo Dragon. Looking for the Michinoku driver. Dragon reverses it and hits a front face DDT thing. Um, a Bob looking thing. Thing ding. Oh my god, an uppercut there. Ferociously hit. And now punches, punches and bunches. By Cesaro. Oh, misses the knee there. Big boot, down goes Ultimo Dragon. God, this is one way to send a warning. Look, he's just pounding away on the face of Dragon. This is not the way that Ultimo Dragon would have wanted to go. And this is exactly how Cesaro wants it to go. Well, right now it's not because Ultimo Dragon just got to move in. Well done to Dragon, he did a thing. Kick, oh, wrenching on the arm. Knee to the gut. Irish whip, off the ropes. Michinoku Driver? No, again Dragon reversing his way out of it. Well, he's certainly trying his best there. Oh, Cesaro rolls out of the way. And this time, Michinoku Driver planting down Dragon. Double foot stomp. The pain that was caused from someone in such good fi uh, physique as Cesaro. His force coming down on you. That must be massive pain. In the corner. Big boot. Responded there by Dragon by throwing him away. Rolls out of the way though, Cesaro does. Oh, they both hit each other there. Dropkick to the back by Dragon. Uh oh, he's caught him again. Mitch and Noku Driver. A second one. Cesaro looking to send this message to Rollins. And he looks to be doing a good job here. Uh oh. Dragon in trouble. Off the ropes. Swinging up the cut. Okay, what is he doing? Oh, okay, there's a collision between the two. 
What? Oh no. I know exactly what message he's sending. Swiss death! That was the message. He's telling he's telling Seth Rollins it's time to say goodbye. Oh, that's that's another superstar going. Cesaro sends the message. Rollins! Hang on, that's Seth Rollins' theme. He doesn't seem to be phased by the warning message. Behind you! Seth Rollins taken down Cesaro. He can try and use as many messages as he wants. He can try and send subliminal terms. He can try and warn him with threats as much as he wants. But this Sunday, the type of talking will be over. Rollins not phased by Cesaro's threats. That is going to be a hellacious match this Sunday. But right now, Rollins has got to run back away very fast because we've got an upcoming contest between Seth Rollins and The Undertaker. Undertaker last week was the runner-up in that fatal four-way as his amazing theme now bells throughout the arena louder than before because I've just dubbed it over the top in, <laughs> in editing. Wow, so much skill. But anyway, yes, The Undertaker gets set for this contest with Seth Rollins. Oh, I cannot wait to see two tremendous competitors square off one-on-one -on -one against each other. What is going to happen when these two men meet? Okay. The, uh, anyway. Undertaker making his way up to the steps now. I'm looking forward to this match immensely. Oh boy, what is going to happen between these two men when they collide? And approaching the ring from Iowa, the ECW World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rooney. Wow. Here we go. It is time for these two men to square off one on one. Rollins, of course, just. Coming back from attacking him. And now he gets set for this contest. He calls Cesaro many things. A respectable talent, a tremendous wrestler. One of the all-around most in shape and best... What's the word I'm looking for? A best athletically looking superstars in the entire universe. But... There is one thing he is not, and that is ECW Champion. And if he wants to try and take it from Rollins, he will have to claw it away from his stone-dead hands. Rollins is not awarding the title to Cesaro. He's not going to give up the title to Cesaro. Cesaro will have to beat it out of him until Rollins is just senseless and flapping his gums around. Swiss death doesn't matter to Rollins. He's already taken one of them. He's come back from it, and it's not going to work this time. Big words from Rollins. Can he step up to the challenge, though? Will he be able to show that he is more than able to fight back from those, uh, from that, from whatever Swiss death may arrive? Let's see what happens. There is a reversal by Rollins. Undertaker immediately responding back as well. As these two men collide right now, knee to the face by Rollins. And take down top rope already by Rollins. Waiting for the Undertaker to get up. Drop kicks him down. Crucifix. Oh, Rollins with an enziguri. Nicely hit there. On to the Undertaker side headlock. Rollins is gone. Looking for a suplex maybe. Yes, he is. Good job by Rollins there to suplex someone of the strength. 
Oh, went for a spinning sidekick there. I don't know if he connected with a flush. But, uh... The oh, the certainly didn't phase the Undertaker. Undertaker responding back now. Some huge strikes from Undertaker. We've seen him bring these out in the past. Northern Light Suplex though by Rollins, stopping him right in his path. But that just only phases the Undertaker for a split second. Doesn't even temporarily stop him. Drop kick to the back. Irish whip in the turnbuckle. He goes. Rollins. Oh, bringing him face first down in the turnbuckle. That is signature Rollins there. Vintage Rollins. Knees to the gut, meanwhile, off the top rope, so it's not a coup de grace. You will not be in contact with me, Royal General Manager. Neck breaker there. Front face lock. And there's a reversal. Stomp. And stomp of the arm. As he waddles around. Well, as he thingies around. Catches it. Arm rolls out of the way. Crucifix again. Rollins now. Elbow onto the head of the Undertaker as he once again takes it to the top rope. Looking for a frog splash. And he hits it. You can practically see the pain in his face right now. Thanks to that tremendous move off the ropes. Into the into the corner. Nope, there's a reversal. Close line in the train buckle. By the Undertaker. Kick. Caught. Big boot moves out of the way. Knee to the back. Wrenching on the arm now. Nope, Undertaker reverses. Shoulder tackles him down with authority. Get it because of the t shirt he was wearing. Wrenching on the arm. Rollins reverses it. Arm drags him down. Kick to the gut. What can he be looking for here? Never mind. Undertaker's just responding back immediately. Uh oh. Taker's got him. Fall away slam. Rollins flying across the ring there. I mean, you know, you could look at this in, in some ways almost being bias. I don't want to look at it in that way, but uh, I didn't book this out of bias. I didn't give Cesaro an easy night. I did not mean to give... Oh, uh, I thought I thought, under I thought Ultimate Dragon would have been tougher than that, alright? And this main event is just because, well, it's a star attraction. Knee to the back by Rollins, Undertaker trying to get back up. Rollins stopping him in his tracks, and now Rollins looking to kick his lights out. Taker up to his knees, Avara Kedavra. Rollins sends him down. Taker might be done for. Can Rollins end it? Setting him up in position. Curb stomp to the Undertaker. Can Rollins do it? One, two, no. He kicks out at two. Kick to the gut. Rollins not giving him a moment's rest. Falcon Arrow. Incoming. Oh, rolls out of the way. You're in trouble now. Big okay. boot. Down oh, goes Undertaker. This oh, kick to the side of the head there. Or back of the head even by Rollins. He Punches him back. He oh, that leaping clothesline from Undertaker. Vintage Undertaker. Moves out. Oh, Rollins gets out of the way. Kick to the gut. Up on his shoulders, amazing strength there by Rollins, but Undertaker wriggles off. <laughs> that was an awful burp. A bit of, a, maybe a bit of stick came into my mouth. I don't know. I don't think it did. Rollins, kick to the gut. Has him. What's he looking for? Oh, okay. Fisherman suplex, small package. We've seen this in the past. And it doesn't put away the Undertaker. He's, oh my god, I'm to his leg. That was, that was feisty. DDT there, I think, by The Undertaker. Look to try and replicate the WrestleMania 1 finish against Sheamus. Back body drop there. And yes, that's it. Spire, that's one way to uh, arrive in the other turnbuckle. Oh, reversal over the ropes. Back in the ring he goes. Hooks the leg. One count. Rollins not being able to get it done yet. In the turnbuckle. Rollins has him. Here we go, Undertaker up on his shoulders, Buckle Bomb, the Buckle Bomb is the lead into a second curb stomp by Rollins, can he win this one, one, two, Rollins defeats the Undertaker, Rollins is the winner, Rollins comes out victorious. Tremendous job there by Rollins. Oh, no, 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 no. It's Cesaro. He's back. 
and he is taking it right to Rollins, a lead pipe there. These sneak attacks from behind by both men. Well, they're going to come to an end this Sunday. We are going to have a match between Cesaro and Rollins, a match for the ages in my eyes. These two men are going to knock seven bells out of each other until one of someone's arm is raised as the winner and ECW champion. I don't know who it's going to be, but oh my God, are we in for a match there between those two men? Of course, next week, we will see Matt Hardy take on way back, and as well, we will see the 1%ers defend the ECW Tag Championship against the Revolution. And I just like to say, be sure to tune into Velocity this Saturday. You will see EC3 in singles action. But you won't be seeing Cesaro or Rollins because you know, But, um, oh god, these two men. Uh, this is going to be one of the hardest hitting matches we've seen for some time in this universe. And it comes to place this Saturday at, at Unforgiven. It is going to be a huge match. I cannot wait for it. I will see you guys there. Until then, thank you guys for watching this episode of ECW. Take care. And as always, ta -ra.